Our drinks are right there. Welcome to Handsome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Woo! Good job, May. Uh, you're listening to The Handsome Pod. Thank I you are. am May Martin. I'm Tig Notaro. And I'm Fortune Feimster. And we're Handsome. Oh, my God. <laughs> we're coming um, to you once again in person. W- yeah, in person in the same room in Tig's office. Mm. In our suits. Cozy, feeling suave. It's so cozy in here. Yeah, yeah. you have a nice office. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just wink at each other? Tig just winked yeah. at me because I winked at Tig <laughs> a few Guys. minutes ago, and Tig went, "Oh, <laughs> like it was jarring." Have for I you. misunderstood our friendship? <laughs> Can I tell you, I winked at. I'm not a big winker. Okay. Okay. I was at the Minneapolis airport uh-huh. years ago. I was sitting alone in the food court eating. And this girl that was maybe 20 was walking around the food court with her tray of food. And I'm sorry, you can dress however you want on an airplane, but she had cut off short shorts Mm -hmm. with like maybe some parts of her body hanging out of the short shorts. Okay. And um, for sure. And (laughs) she, when she walked by me, I was so, I was, I had never seen somebody dress like that in an airport. (laughs) And um, I really hadn't. Yeah. People normally are not in like. They're going for comfort. Yeah. 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 And she came over by me. I had a mouthful of food and I winked at her. (laughs) Oh my God. Not because I was attracted to her. She wouldn't have thought that. Well, guess what? She went back. She said, oh, I guess I'll sit here. <gasps> no. Oh, yeah. She sat down at the table with me. <laughs> oh, my wow. God. And I was eating sushi. Okay. And I had a big sushi bite in my mouth. You know, those are hard to yeah. handle sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like trying to chew this sushi <laughs> while this like 20 year old in like short shorts is sitting down with me. And I'm like. This is not at all what I was, <laughs> I, I was winking because I had food in my mouth and I was trying to acknowledge her yeah. because she was trying to find a place to sit and I don't, I just, I don't, <laughs> wait a second. And so what happened? Y'all just have lunch that, though? together? Who, who goes, oh, that person's trying to find a place to sit. I'll wink at them just so they know. I, I do. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know that I do. And I was, I was, I felt so weird and horrible <laughs> this she was into it though no i don't think she was attracted to me i, I don't know what she happened she was like oh this is a great place well, to i sit. guess i'm safe here here's a 40 <laughs> year old winking at me in so an airport just had lunch together yeah and had an awkward exchange <laughs> in the oh food my court God. it was terrible well, oh if you're my gosh i know i hope she's listening i hope she's now. listening oh, she's yeah. like, i've always thought about I bet that her day I sat down with Tig. Yeah, like her version <laughs> of that story is Tig Nataro, yeah, winked at me and winked I sat up. down. We really Which was basically off. an invitation for me yeah. to have lunch with her. Yeah. And yeah. Meanwhile, I'm like, I accidentally winked at a 20-year-old who yeah. sat at my <laughs> lunch table in the food court in Minneapolis. So you're very particular with who you wink at now. I don't wink at people. <laughs> except you. It sounds like it. Except it sounds you. like you're winking willy-nilly. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm sitting at your table now. Are you winkers? I N- guess no. I am. I winked at you like three <laughs> minutes ago. I have and to take s- literally went, oh, yeah. oh, God. I have to say, I really, it it does something to me when someone winks at me like a a pointed wink across a room or something if like especially if it's someone that you kind of are seeing or something they wink at you and give you that attention you're into it it's like a bullet to my has it happened many times to you that you've gotten a pointed wink what if i had winked at me from across the room i don't know what would be happening right now i think i maybe i've seen it in movies i and then now, because it's become like a, ki- I have a wink kink, and so I'm like, a wink kink. I kind of have a wink kink now. And so I'll, I, if I'm dating someone, I might say, Hey, give me a wink tonight. So many when fans I least are expect be it. Winking at you now. Oh, I love kink. it because to me, it's either saying like, like we're gonna have sex, or like we just had sex. <laughs> if they wink, I've never associated the two. 
But now I'll never forget the term wink kink. So wait, we just had set like you wrap it up. It's like we've got a little little secret. Hey, how was it? I guess that would be weird if it was like a post coital. You like a? Do you like a? With well, it? that's no. little cowboy. Oh, no, no, you don't you like little cowboy. Moving. Wait, no. you can't. You're... Little cowboy. Little yeah, cowboy. Get your you gotta, yeah. Look, if George Clooney's going, sure. But... Oh, so you're into George Clooney? Oh, if he's winking. Okay. Winking. <laughs> well, didn't we talk about George Clooney? No, we talked about Brad Pitt. Did we? we Why were we about... talking about Brad Pitt? I was when we had to I name think... our male, <laughs> what male celebrities we would get oh. with. George Clooney didn't come up. I think. George Clooney did not, but Brad Pitt did. Yeah, I. He doesn't do anything for me. Hmm. I can see that he is. I attractive a man. person. I mean, obviously, the majority His of wife's men are hot. Not hot wife. <laughs> <laughs> His wife's hot. His wife's hot. Hot wife alert. Hot wife. Yeah, I would probably <laughs> lean more towards her. When she's like a lawyer, she's yeah. smart. Yeah. I'm all. Yeah. I'm all Clooney. It's crazy that we know all these things I about know, right? these people, right? And her name is like I'm all. I'm about all about it. I'm all. I'm all about Clooney. Yeah, I'm all about Clooney. <laughs> I'm all. What if her middle name was about? Oh my god. I'm all about <laughs> Clooney. <laughs> Wait, did you guys know that Hugh? I, I think I've said this. Hugh Grant. His middle name is Mungo. So his name is Hugh Mungo Grant. That's no. A, that's a true fact. <laughs> Take no, that. you can take I'm, that straight I to am, the bank. I am refusing. You're to refusing the Mayfax? Google it. M- Mungo? Yeah, his middle name is Mungo. So Kaylin's Googling it now. They did this now. on purpose. I, his Hugh parents? Mungo Grant. Grant. So his parents must have been fucking with him, or, or it just is a common British, like, Mungo. It sounds like posh, but hmm. yeah, Hugh Mungo Grant. Yeah. Kaylin can confirm? Hugh John Mungo Grant. Hugh John Hugh Mungo. Hugh Mungo. Okay, well, you missed a part of it. Hugh so John Mungo. Can we <laughs> detract the May fact? I mean, it, but May was right that yeah. Mungo and was how do you know middle this? name. I don't know. I picked these things up. You when know? you were in the UK, I got eyes probably. on the streets. <laughs> how long were you in the UK for? 12 <laughs> years. 12 years. Yeah. That's a long time. Yeah, a long time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't think I sound, but you guys think I sound Pontu. You sound more Canadian to me than you do a UK. Oh, great thing right i can see a bit of a mix of okay uh, you probably had some influence there mm-hmm. is why you say ponties i don't think i do <laughs> but i and we have it we have it <laughs> i don't think <laughs> i do you a-holes <laughs> fortune watch your mouth sorry dig <laughs> assholes <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is like a holiday-ish episode, and I will say England at the holidays is very, very beautiful. It's very cozy. Like, everything's yeah. old. There's Tell us about ones. it with your accent. I think of love, actually. <laughs> yeah, it's love, actually. It's like, Tell us. oh, good morning. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> There's a fresh sprinkling of snow <laughs> on the cobblestones. <laughs> Shall we all have a lovely suet pudding or whatever it is? What do they I do? Are their holidays, is their Christmas holiday different than ours? No, it's just like dialed up to 100. It's like, it's like similar to, but, you know, carol services. And I used to go spend every what Christmas carol there. carol services? You can pay people to go caroling? No, like you go to the church and you sing. In the oh, bleak right, bleak. right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very different. Very different. I thought you get like, someone to go care. Yeah, no, I like in church. Hire a care. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you thought I meant like a service. <laughs> a service where you We hire. provide caroling <laughs> if <laughs> we get the whole car. We whole wish podcast. you a Merry Christmas. <laughs> That's a pretty good app, actually. But they that should um, be an app. do the like Christmas Eve stuff and yeah, it's Christmas just like, day, eat dinner. It's cold. You get your like spiced wine and you know what yeah. I mean? Mm-hmm. And we used to go and see because um, my grandma is English or was the agent. The agent yeah, with the problem area. Story. Oh, yeah. She's got a problem she, area. <laughs> <she's> got, <laughs> she doesn't. But yeah, she had a bidet. day. <laughs> <laughs> so we would go and Tushy. we would see like plays that she that her clients were in and stuff. And yeah. It was like a big perk. And, and we saw The Wind in the Willows, this like uh, Christmas production of it. And there were these I remember. I don't know why I'm talking or thinking about this, actually. But I remember well, all these. It's a podcast. Yeah, it's yeah. a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why are we doing We're sitting in suits in my office <laughs> on a Tuesday night. <laughs> on a Tuesday that. night. <laughs> with the whiskey. Holidays. Yeah. 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 Go on. So. I just remember, you know, Wind in the Willows is about the mole mm-hmm. and the rat and the badger. <laughs> you know? I don't know this. <laughs> no. 
I don't know. Fortune. Do you guys against <laughs> one? Are you serious? <laughs> I don't know. The it. wind in the willows. It's these talking animals. No matter how many times I you try, repeat I the try, wind in the willows, I we don't know it. I tried to remind y'all of the movie Willow, and y'all thought I was crazy. That's true. I That's knew true. Willow Smith. <laughs> anyway, so not personally, but there it's like these animals, and there's kind of a a war in the animal kingdom. And anyway, I just it was so magical to me because the there were kids in the cast and it was at this big theater and they played little rabbits and they would all, they had fake snow that would come down and they'd all sing in the bleak midwinter. And then a weasel comes in and grabs one of the kids and That's takes scary. it off to eat. And everyone's, all the rabbits are screaming, but I loved it. You know, kids, kids love this. Kids love like a scary thing, really? I think, or at least I did. And I was like, I want to play that rabbit that gets grabbed by the weasel. Oh yeah. What does that say about me? You wanted to be grabbed? <laughs> I wanted I wanted to be in the cast uh -huh. and I wanted to be a child actor okay. that got grabbed by the weasel and I imagined all the conversations I would have with this actor playing the weasel. About how to grab how you. to grab me and yeah. here's what's so weird. Yeah. <laughs> Please. A weasel never comes up in my life. <laughs> and just two nights ago I was with friends and our sons, they like to play this game of like, I'm thinking of an animal and right. guess what it is? Yeah. And I thought, oh, this is great. I'll say weasel. Yeah. Or I'll think of a weasel. And that's going to be hard. Yeah. Nobody's going to go yeah. weasel. Weasel. And it took, and and it's impossible to stump Stephanie with anything. And I stumped her. And um, and then they were like, what is it? And I said, it's a weasel. And everybody's like, a weasel? And then here <laughs> I am two days later hearing about a weasel. About a weasel. And what? And this, it this weaseled its way it right weaseled, back into my life. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what does this mean? Nothing. No, absolutely. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Means nothing. Did you ever, when you were a kid, you'd see like a kid on TV and you'd think, that'd be really fun to play that part because I'd be around all the grown ups and I, I'd be like having lunch with the weasel. <laughs> Wait, you're saying as a child wanting to, you wanted to, to be, be an actor? Something? Yeah, I guess I wanted to be playing that. <clears throat> that or you wanted to be that character in real life. No, I wanted to be a, an actor because, in real life. Because your grandma was an agent, so you're like, I've got an in. You knew Maybe. your grandma would sign you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she refused she didn't she was very strict she would she didn't want you in the biz no she did not well she no when i started doing comedy on my own then she was she was okay with into it. It, yeah was she like kid uh, you got what it takes yeah, yeah no she was like she wanted it to be very squeaky clean mm. okay oh, yeah. you your grandma's accent what was it even like it was like we won't know yeah yeah, yeah we could just so yeah, you can true. do whatever you want okay well she would do a lot of um said the actress to the vicar oh, oh my god, god. Yeah, yeah. i love your grandma yeah, yeah she do a lot of innuendo and yeah. stuff yeah and she was she was hilarious yeah but you know when you're a kid and your parents take you to some holiday event and then after you're like maybe you stay up later than you normally would and then you're in the back of the mm -hmm. car and it's cold out and you're all cozy and yeah you love a no. cozy christmas yeah not so much my parents didn't take us to christmas things you're right and yeah. it was warm when when you when, he, <laughs> when you grew up was it warm in Mississippi? Well, Mississippi, Texas. I lived in both both places, yeah. but um, it was more of just. I feel like all we really did was um, the the peanuts special. Oh, yeah, like the cool. Christmas Charlie Brown, and that was before streaming and all mm -hmm. that, or even renting it on VHS. It, you knew what night, yeah, the Peanuts special yeah. was going to be on. It That's was like, <gasps> and um, and so we'd watch that, and then my mother would play. She had you know a record player, and we'd listen to Christmas music. That's nice, That's but nice. our only thing that we would do together uh, was. In the south, you know, you go to Christmas Eve service at church. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we would do that. But I remember one Christmas Eve, we discovered uh, South Park. Oh, and, really? Uh, we turned it on before we go to church. <laughs> and it goes, it's a piece of doo doo. And it goes, doo doo. Idaho. I'm Mr. Hanky, the Christmas poo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're all crying laughing the whole family the whole family's watching <laughs> oh my this God. my mom before church my mom's kind of mortified because her boyfriend was there yeah and my brothers are <laughs> crying on how do you? i'm a shaggy the christmas food and then she's like let's go to church <laughs> oh my god <laughs> so we were a bit irreverent but we would always go to church some christmases we went to two services we really went to did our you church 
what's up? Go on. And the United someone Methodist, else's church? United Methodist, in case you're wondering. <laughs> and then to the Lutheran church, because they had a great choir. Mm. And you just couldn't get enough. We couldn't get enough of Jesus. <laughs> well, we got all of our Jesus in. Now we got to go hear the good tunes. The good tunes. <laughs> yeah. they, they sounded amazing. Let's hear a little. Uh, sing Noel, sing Noel, Noel, Noel. <laughs> Sing we all do well. <laughs> they also this the, is the only reason I do this show. The same. It's also, the not banger, just to hear you, but to see where your face, face goes. <laughs> <laughs> but you know the banger. No, which oh, one? Holy night. Let's hear it. Oh, holy <laughs> night. The stars are brightly shining. <laughs> it is the night of our dear <laughs> Savior's birth. That's the banger? <laughs> that's, yeah, that's the banger. Yeah, that's, guys, it's not a, Rudolph the Red <laughs> Nose no, Reindeer. No, it's church. It's got to be about Jesus. That's Jesus. Jesus oh, is no. all. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Oh, <laughs> But if you blinked, <laughs> opened your eyes, we weren't here. <laughs> this podcast never existed. Do you even know? Sitting in a suit, singing <laughs> Christmas carols. Do you don't even know how hard that note was that I just hit. I don't think you do. <laughs> or what if you did that? You hit I the note. I don't think I am either. You close your eyes, you hit the note, oh, and then. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, yeah. oh, 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 Wow, I didn't expect to go there tonight. (laughs) What about Away in a Manger? What's that one? We're just requesting. (laughs) No crib for a bed. The little Lord Jesus lay down his sweet head. I like Fairy Tale of New York. What's that? You know, it's. uh, (laughs) Ray (laughs) Yours. You were drunk, <laughs> you were pretty, all in New York City. Oh, you're yes. that. And the bells of it. Uh, oh, you, oh, I hate you. you I love you. <laughs> what is Keep good? going. It's like a <laughs> duet of these dr- Okay, do one in your Canadian accent, then the other side it's in Debbie. In Debbie. Okay, yeah. okay. I don't, how does it go? Who cares? Can you give me the first line, someone? A fairy tale of New York. Thomas was opening a Facebook <laughs> account. I love <laughs> thee, Lord Jesus. I beg thee to stay. Oh yeah. I was just okay. saying, I was just passing the time until it, we found out. That. So Debbie and Canadian? Debbie and Canadian. I don't remember how it goes after that. Doesn't line matter. Now, but okay. Uh, 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 so Canadian. It was Christmas Eve, babe. <laughs> <laughs> and then Debbie goes, in the drunk tank, <laughs> an old man said to me, I've got a lovely one, or something like that. Is that, is that right? And then I'd go. He's back to his Facebook. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thomas is uh, making um, your Christmas list of what he wants. you <laughs> got to get into this tune, honestly. You gotta, I'm into it. We're into it right <laughs> no, now. I mean, I'm all eyes and ears. Yeah, we're we're going to have to Google it. Did you ever get the giggles in Oh, church? I love Googling. <laughs> Don't get um, started on Googling. <laughs> as soon as this wraps up, I'm Googling. <laughs> have Have we heard what? Um, did you giggle in church? Like, would you get the gig- like laugh attack? Well, you have For to back sure. up and say, did you go to church? Oh, yeah, that's oh, true. You know, yeah. Did you not go to church? How did you get out of it being <laughs> in the cell? Um, well, I mean, we went until I was in probably sixth grade or yeah. something. And then my brother and I were like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I had to go as part of school for a couple of years. It was like an Anglican school, so we'd have like morning assembly and stuff. Mm-hmm. I would cry laugh like just knowing you're not supposed to laugh. Like right. yeah. here I miss that when you're not supposed to laugh and you're just aching like and you think yeah. I'm going to die. Did yeah. you get that at church when there was Oh yeah, when I was little. Yeah, yeah. I had to go every Sunday till I went to college. Wow. Really? Yeah, and do your parents like still go? Uh, my mom was was like on and off, but she's back. So she now she's volunteering. She's back. She's, she's back. back with a. They, she means business. They reeled her back in, but she's very. Um, she wants people to know she is a United Methodist member, 
Not the other one, because the church split over mm. gay r- gay folks. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. And she's on the side that uh, likes and accepts gay people. And did she hop over once you were like, surprise? No, we were always United Methodist. Oh, okay. But in the last couple of years, I don't, I don't when it, when it happened, they voted about like accepting gay people into the clergy, and mm-hmm. I, I don't know what all the what what up. Well, what was up for vote? Mm-hmm. For the people that did not approve split and started their own like Methodist church. Mm. Mm. So okay. she's very verbal about being the, in the United Methodist one. Right, right. Yeah. So yeah. she goes to church now. She's back at it. I'll pro- I think I'm going to ho- go home for Christmas Eve. Mm-hmm. So I'll probably end up at church. Yeah, I like it's a nice vibe. So well, I don't mind it on Christmas Eve. Yeah. I, y'all heard me jam out to. We did. Yeah, <laughs> I heard <laughs> the banger. Songs. I think it, it kind of reminds. <laughs> Holy night. Do you know? I mean, how could I not do that at church? I, I don't know. All is calm. All is bright. See, that's my church singing voice. In case you didn't I, know. No, I did. I didn't <laughs> think that was your uh, your rocker dude. <laughs> Um, no. What about Jerusalem? That that hymn, Jerusalem. Do you know that one? Um, what can you sing it? Bring me my bow of <laughs> burning don't. gold. Bring me my arrows of desire. I don't ah. know this one. <laughs> <laughs> I like the real dramatic ones. Like, Mary, did you know that your baby boy <laughs> would one day walk on water? Mary, did you know that your baby boy would save our sons and daughters? Did you know that your baby <laughs> Sorry. Also, it's so it's almost accusatory. Yeah, I mean, did you know? <laughs> yeah. And it's like, what is Mary doing on the other I side mean, of that? It's like, get out, of, get off my lawn. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 get out of my manger. And at some point, they you sing, is the great I am. It's very dramatic. It's the great, the great I am. Rudolph the red I nose am. reindeer. <laughs> Grandma <laughs> got run, run over, over by, by a reindeer. reindeer. Now you know it. From our house Christmas Eve. Some people say there's no such thing as Santa. But as for me and Grandpa, we believe. I was always pretty creeped out by uh, I saw Mommy kissing Santa Claus. That creeped me out. Because it seemed like Santa was a creep. Yeah. But it was the dad, It was the dad. I get that now. Yeah. Oh, I didn't get that until just now. Are you serious? Promise. You always thought the mom was cheating. You did. thought Santa was trying that's to get some. Right. That's how much I believed in Santa. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you wow. You until this very moment. Wow. I'm really. All the wheels are falling. Yeah, I'm the almost place. 53. That's crazy. That is... Okay. And you know, Stephanie and I, we went to our kids school for um, the teacher conference. Yeah. And we were talking about just that. And. I do feel like our sons are a little mature for their age. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and um, and you can really be in a moment of feeling like, wow, they really, you, they can sit down and really talk to you about certain things in the news and sports and whatever. And then they fully believe in Santa. Yeah. And That's you're like, why, I yeah. love that though. Oh gosh, right. They're just I st- seven and a half. The other <laughs> thing aside from Santa that blew my mind when we were talking to the teachers, is that there are two teachers. Um, Max has a teacher, Finn has a teacher uh, in separate classes. Mm-hmm. And one teacher turns into a mad scientist. And it's the same person, obviously, yeah. but just has a wig and a <laughs> and a lab coat. Yeah. Amazing. And the kids believe that that is a different no. person. No. I yes. love that. And oh, that and then the fun. other teacher turns into something. A real bitch. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I can't remember what it was. But there was also um, on on uh, St. Patrick's Day, they were saying that there was like a little leprechaun. Yeah. Um, and then when the kids went out to play, they came back in. And Max and Finn came home telling us, they were like, oh, my gosh. A leprechaun came in and and, and mm. wrecked our classroom. Yeah, 
They did that when I was in and kindergarten. And put green really? dye in the yeah. toilet and turned like a desk upside down. The kids really believed a leprechaun went yeah. nuts in their oh, classroom. That was pretty they special. They hooked me. Yeah. And when I was in kindergarten, we came back in from play, and and all the bins were everywhere. Yeah, they were like, like "Man, did like you know?" Free leprechaun. We're like, "That's a little bastard." Well, and then there's some uh some animal that was a stuffed animal, and the kids were talking about how it was a stuffed animal. Yeah. But the teacher, I think, when the teacher turned it into some other character, said it was actually a real, whatever animal, mm-hmm. and the kids were saying, "I think it's a stuffy." Which is what they call stuffed animals. Okay. And then while the kids went out to play in the playground, they came back in and there was like a poorly written note that said, I'm not a stuffy. And the kids were like, <laughs> <gasps> oh my God. Oh, and completely so believe it. Well, I that's love so that good. stuff. You're supposed to be, you know, be gullible when you're a kid. I know. Did but you have older siblings that yeah. would f- fuck with you? It, my oh, brother yeah. said there was a baby penguin that would come at night, a baby penguin, and um, he would put plasticine out and be like, we'll see if it leaves footprints. And then uh-huh. he must have been making little baby penguin footprints. And I was like, he for sure was, yeah, by yeah, the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm one million percent. I, I think he might have been. Yeah. <laughs> but I was obsessed with baby penguin. He'd write letters from baby penguin. Yeah. That's so cute. Yeah, it was pretty good. I was always trying to, even though I believed in Santa, I was trying to prove him wrong. Uh, and prove that he didn't exist even though I didn't know <laughs> I would try to um, anytime my parents left out toys from Santa I would be like there's a sticker from the store on this uh-huh. yeah I don't know if this is from Santa and they were like can you just believe oh my <laughs> God. Was like, God. scream at you on Christmas yeah. can you just believe already I was always trying to like find the presents before they like, I don't know why I was like determined to know what I was going to get and to know it wasn't from Santa. The naughty nice list freaks me out. But yeah, I guess I mean I'm I'm now gonna be maybe around a five year old on Christmas. Oh yeah, so I guess I gotta. You total, for sure will. Yeah, yeah, I for sure. Will. <laughs> you're, living gotta, with, you're, you're living. You live with, with her. her. I, gotta, I guess I'm gonna be around a five year old on Christmas. Yeah, unless you become the unfortunate dad that leaves the in some 90s movie yeah I'm like i got work to do but I she got. believes in santa yeah yeah so i gotta tell the line i guess so you're gonna have to leave out cookies and milk that's so fun though. for yeah. the rain d- and and carrots for the carrots reindeer. reindeer really yeah they they LA, you could also leave out oat milk or almond milk <laughs> thank to, you yes of great, course great great and um <clears throat> my mother Used to write in her own handwriting. <laughs> oh, really? You're joking. <laughs> yeah, Am to like- Tig from Santa, and I never, <laughs> I never put it together. <laughs> it's just like that's what handwriting is. Yeah. Have yeah. we said this on the podcast already that I want to take a picture with Santa Claus and the three of us, like in a mall where we're all no. sitting on his lap? Thomas, Thomas put it on the Can list. Can we add that? Yeah. That actually would be a would, in our picture. suits. Yeah, yeah right. We, <laughs> we already have an Olin Mills uh, situation. That's what we have we, to yeah. do. I can't wait to review our list. We, we have a like lot to, our oh list my gosh. accumulating. <laughs> we have a lot to do. We're gonna take like a weekend and do all these things, right? Absolutely, if not man. an entire month, yeah, we have a long <laughs> list. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Should we hear what our guest uh, today yes. has to, to, yeah. to ask? This is a very exciting one. We have a very special guest. Yeah. They're all very special. Everyone's very special. This is a huge movie star. Uh, is she? Yeah. yeah. Really? Because we've been in a movie together. You have been oh, in a movie together. Boy. I'm in a movie with her that's coming. Really? No. Um, yeah, I don't know the name of it. <laughs> I'd like to. I'd like to be one day. Um, she's pretty awesome. You know her from so many iconic roles. I mean, Legally Blonde, Legally Sweet Blonde, Home Alabama, uh, Your Place or Mine, <laughs> The Morning Show is a, a hit. And she's also a TV star. Mm-hmm. Big Little Lies, Big Little Lies, Little Fires huge. Everywhere. Yep. She, uh, her production company, Hello Sunshine. As a book club that's wildly successful. Yeah. You were on uh, the morning show. I had a little cameo yeah. as myself. So in the world of the morning show, I am me. Yeah. Did you, you do like it? a walk on? <laughs> I did like my walk on roles in the morning show. It was um like they had an upfront and I was the comedian at the upfront. That's awesome. Playing myself. Hmm. Um, but she's a pretty little lady. She we love pretty, her. She's a pretty little lady. Uh, Reese Witherspoon's got a question for us. Let's see. Oh, hello, handsome pod. It's Reese Witherspoon. 
I love you all so much. I'm so excited to be on your podcast today. I want to say, first of all, season's greetings. It is the holiday season. And I have a very important question for you, which is, what is the best gift you've ever received or the best gift you've ever given? Nice I can't question, believe she said Reese. I love you all so much. And that includes me. It does To be fair, you. she doesn't know who's on this show. She okay, does. That's true. <laughs> no. Stop it. No, I talked, oh, I talked with her about our podcast. You she, did? Yeah, she thinks it's awesome. She's very in the know with all the podcast world and books really? and all that stuff. Yeah. She's in the know oh, everything. everything. She, really? Like, every she single does know, thing. Like, everything that's going on. Yeah. She's a boss. Um, that's a really good question. Best best gift you've ever gotten or given the holidays. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I'm trying to think. You know, I know right off the bat. Yeah. And uh, there was this uh, organization in Los Angeles that I thought was so incredible called A Place Called Home. Mm -hmm. And they help, you know, uh, just kids that are struggling yeah at risk homeless all, all sorts of uh, the they're incredible uh what they've created and um and i was telling stephanie just how blown away i was by by this organization and then for christmas uh she i opened this envelope and yeah. uh she had made a donation to a place called home and i burst into tears Aww. really i was like i was so not expecting that yeah that's very and it was moving. just it was like it was just something not that i said in passing to her yeah. but i just i was like god this place it's mm -hmm. so great yeah and then so it was a combination like, of like how thoughtful she yeah. was and mm -hmm. then the place also and the, the place called home yes yeah but yeah it just hit me all at once and i burst into ugly tears and I she was like, oh, my gosh, are you okay? I was like, I didn't see this guy. I was, I was so floored. Oh, that's great. That's really yeah. great. Yeah. Mm. I know. I'm trying to think of. My mom was notoriously terrible at giving gifts. Really? Um, <laughs> <laughs> to me, because she she would give me the gifts that she wanted. Yeah. My mother did that, yeah, too. Like she would only give me things that she liked. <laughs> so every year, like. <laughs> Any other, a pretty little lady would have loved these gifts, yeah. like makeup kits, everything like girly. Yeah. yeah. And so every Christmas I'd be like, huh, <laughs> this sucks. <Yeah. laughs> See, mine was more like before I was raised, my family, I was raised on Willie Nelson mm -hmm. and I appreciated Willie Nelson. Yeah. Like ran through the deep, deep veins of my family, mm -hmm. my mother, my grandmother, all of these people. But. When I was eight, I didn't want the Redheaded Stranger album. Right. You know, <laughs> I just, yeah. that's eight. not what I was looking for. <laughs> yeah. um, and I want to just make a public service announcement. If you have a child and you are just showering them with what you like yeah. or you liked <laughs> as a child, yeah, move on. <laughs> move on. Yeah. Well, finally, as I got older, I, I started feeling grateful. Like, I should be grateful for whatever gifts given, but I never liked any gifts yeah. she gave like me Like, really, ever. were they, like, really feminine? It was cut, very like feminine the, yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Was, I was not out yet. It wasn't, yeah. we, we hadn't, you know, f gone into the, like, I'm gay talk. Yeah, and, yeah. But, you know, anyone else could have picked up that I was a giant tomboy. Yeah. You mm -hmm. know, give me a soccer ball. I would have been like, great, this is the greatest gift I've ever gotten. Yeah. But it was always very makeup forward, uh, blou a lot of blouses. Oh, <laughs> oh blouse. <laughs> blouse. She gave money to my sister-in-law one year to buy me the girly clothes. And they just like, and anybody else were like, amazing school. And I was yeah. like, I can't wear any of these. They're all blouses. That yeah. is also, just that word, word is horrible. That word is not word. good. I, I'm going to get you a new blouse. Ping so, me in the blouse. So finally one Christmas as I got older mm -hmm. and I felt, I felt so weird doing this, but I was like, this is good. Like she's just wasting money yeah. and I don't want her to waste money. Yeah. I said, mom, can I? Show you like of the presents you've given me, what I'm into. Can I show you the yeah. boys' underwear? <laughs> <laughs> Can I just show you that, and then you surprise me? So I like made a pile, 
<laughs> and it was like some snacks on this side. It was like mountains of makeup and and girly stuff over here. Like yeah. a whole like what she spent all the money on. Yeah. This was like a like a fifty dollar Chili's gift card <laughs> and like a can of tennis balls and yeah. like a couple snacks. I was like, I'm into this <laughs> mile. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and it she it finally clicked. She goes, Oh, yeah. After all those years of her just wasted money. There is nothing more depressing than when, like, someone you're dating gives you something that shows you that they don't know you at all. Like, oh. um, who's that chef that passed away? Anthony Bourdain. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know who he is. I've never ex- expressed any interest. And, mm-hmm. and somebody bought me an Anthony Bourdain, like, poster, I want to say. And I was like, huh. Uh, but then I had one, um, a wonderful ex of mine, uh, I just finished filming Feel Good, so I was really exhausted, and uh, and I'm hard to shop for, I guess, but I love escape rooms. And she turned her apartment and her neighbor's apartment into like a giant escape room, Whoa. and it was she had spent so much time with all of these uh-huh. clues, and it was like in one part. I had to put together a phone number. Then I called the number and she'd arranged to have like my friend pick up and give me another clue. And, yeah. then, wow. and it was also quite scary. And then it ended, <laughs> I fe- and I ended up finding her in like a bed or whatever. <laughs> Wow. Oh, and that was a good so present. Got, that was a great present. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. And you had to escape the room to get to the sexy time. Yeah. Although okay. then it became a present for her, I felt, at the end. Because it was like, oh, here you, I did, am. you did all the work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it was really... This a, is your present. <laughs> yeah. It was very thoughtful. I liked that a lot. I don't know what the best gift I've given is. I'm terrible. I'm not great at giving gifts. Really? You know why? I'll tell you why. Why? Because you don't care about gifts. I don't. I don't care about and gifts. I right. remember you saying that, and yeah. so I feel like I'm not the greatest at it either, uh-huh. and I'm not into gifts. Yeah, I don't need anything like that. Mm-hmm. Um, experiences. That's, I love experiences. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm kind of more like, can I give you like a two hundred dollar gift card? <laughs> but like, I also like, notice very much when somebody is incredible at giving yeah. gifts, yeah. then Some you have to are clock. Like so good. They want a good gift. I oh, oh, interesting. Reese, yeah, strikes, yeah, yeah. Reese strikes me as someone who's really good at I bet giving. Reese, like, remembers what people mention, like, is thoughtful. And, and it's like, like I get that vibe. And crafted something. Yeah. Or, like, some <laughs> nice something. I don't. I don't. <laughs> you don't think so? <laughs> I don't. But she could have someone else do it. Right, she right. could have someone That's else. Right. I need to hire it. someone. That yeah, just like gives doesn't gifts for people. Tom Cruise like always gives the same he coconut a, cake. It's a, I'm I know about this. I've never gotten it, but I'm very well aware of it because I love <laughs> cake. He has a Tom Cruise <laughs> cake. He gives it to everyone he's worked with. It's a cake from a bakery in Woodland Hills called Dones or something like that, and it is called the Tom Cruise cake. Wow. Uh, I talked about it once. Someone. Uh, from Gold Belly sent it to me. What's Gold Belly? Uh, where you can like order things from restaurants all over the country and oh. have it shipped to places. Oh, okay. Oh. And it was a Tom Cruise cake. It's like a bunt cake. It's got coconut and like white chocolate. You cannot chip. have I it. Cannot you can't have, have it. It, it, it is so good. Really? And every year you like. He remembers he, everyone's birthday. He has a long list of all these people. He I've doesn't never been remember on everyone's <laughs> birthday. <laughs> Are you like new Santa to Claus. this industry? He hires someone who <laughs> remembers all these. He doesn't even remember that people have birthdays. But I'm just like, <laughs> does he work with someone? And and, and the, does he like whisper to his assistant and put him on the cake list? He must, right? <laughs> like, That's how do people Santa get on the does. cake list? I want to be on this. Have you worked with him? Never. Okay. Well, it's not going to be like we're going to get fortunate. Maybe he'll listen to Handsome. Okay, uh, Tom, (laughs) if you are listening, yeah, that would be the greatest gift. Could you get Fortune on the cake list? And then if if I could get on one with vegan uh, ingredients, and then if we could get May on the cake list. (laughs) Hold the coconut. Hold the coconut. Y'all would be very difficult. I just want it as is. Yeah. Well, okay. No. Uh, that would. Be, but to me, like that would be the greatest gift: a cake that's tasty. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying you do not enjoy a disgusting okay, rotten yeah, cake? cake? Okay. No, gr- Tom. No, gr- don't no. want. Don't wander off. Fortune Tom? does not want a gross cake. No. No. So I can't even remember like a good present I've given someone. Sounds like you've done a terrible job. <laughs> <laughs> have you have you given Jax anything? Uh, Jax has had many presents. Okay, like? But, I mean, lots of jewelry, bags. 
jewelry bags basically anything she wants uh-huh. i like taking people away for a weekend or something or yeah. like uh, against or their nice will day. against <laughs> their will well i i do pressure people into these escape room like, immersive uh-huh. i just this weekend was <laughs> just brought three friends to do a, to a fun thing and we ended up being chased by a cannibal we had to hide in a dark in the escape room yes and they were like why is this fun for you and like really scared but oh man i loved it I had no idea you. I knew you liked them, but I didn't know to the extent. I love them. I'm doing them every week. Oh, when I'm on tour and I see an escape room, I think of you. you. Yeah, I do. I'd love to do the best ones. If anyone wants to sponsor this, or if there's an escape room company, I want to work with you (laughs) to design. This is where we all tell what we want. Yeah, yeah. I like a Tom Cruise cake. You (laughs) like escape room? Escape. I would just like money donated to (laughs) homeless children. I know you're like you're being so sincere, and I'm like I didn't like any. Any present my mom yeah. gave me. I just want cake. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, uh, we should probably put that on the list too. Escape that we do room? an escape room together. Oh, yeah. oh my God. I would be, you'd see a side of me that I don't know if I, you would like. I've only done an oh, escape no. room once. It was Take a- that off the list. <laughs> <Did you? laughs> Scratch that. Why isn't anyone like having it? their whiskey? I've only done one escape room. It was with Lance Bass. And he was mm. really good at it. Hmm. He got us out of the pickle we were in. I'd love to do one with Lance. Ooh. Your pinky up there. Put put a what Lance on that list in the escape room. I've been given some nice bourbons uh, mm-hmm. for Christmas. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Jax's dad, uh, stepdad, is a collector of, of fine, fine bourbons, bourbons and whiskey, and he he's gifted us some really nice. My brother does too. He he has a whole collection, mm-hmm. and that's where all the whiskey in my office comes from. Oh, nice! Yeah, this is not a really, all of it. This one's a really. It's strong, but it's smooth. It tastes mm-hmm. good. What is it? Do we know? <laughs> I don't know. We're falling off the rails. It tastes like it's something good. I it it would, might not be because there's also people will bring whiskey and Ooh, leave it for leave us. It. And so that was a, that was a nice present that he gave me. I would love, a, my dream present is someone gives me a treasure map or like a clue that's like this is going to take you 10 years to figure out 10 but years when you get there i will have left a, a note or or like um finding a, a no, i will I'm have gonna, left a provided, note provided, provided, after 10 years provided that global warming hasn't yeah. created, yeah, because it's created all, a situation that's uh, just a washed note. it away no here oh. may out there's a, a note I okay. think because it's just about the hunt and the grat. Even if the note is just like you found me. Okay, yep, wait. Found. I have a question yeah. for you. <laughs> yeah, it's just about the hunt. Yeah, is that your personality? Oh, huh. it's just about the hunt. Mm-hmm. No, in my twenties, yeah. yeah, it was all about the chase. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you I'm very. Soft. And now you're like, I'd like to spend 10 years searching for a note yeah i just want a humble note yes just, just to note. say you uh, found even me. just a note or a, a gift certificate <laughs> to go to homeless children yes of yes. course okay or like with whiskey what i my my fantasy is finding like a washed up pirate chest and inside mm. is like a bottle of whiskey that is 400 years old i have and to you be honest like the goonies <laughs> i think i have a washed up pirate's chest do you i think so oh uh, no, you're <laughs> on, my, on my body <laughs> <laughs> that's what i should start calling it my washed, washed up, up pirate's, pirate's chest, chest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, still got it uh, so still got it i still got it <laughs> oh you winked at me again <laughs> Let's. <laughs> I want to get in on this. Fortune, who yeah. is more your type, me or, or me? Y'all are equally my type. No, no, no. no. Pick. We oh, want y'all Pick. want you both. I want you both, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want a washed up pirate's chest? <laughs> yeah, or a sort of hairless twink. I love <laughs> hairless twinks and pirate's chest. How do you choose? <laughs> <laughs> if you put the two of us and Matt Jacks in the middle, ah, uh, oh, well, I would have to go with my wife. But yeah, y'all are a close. But second. when the wife is away, <laughs> the handsomes will we'll play. Wink. <laughs> oh God! Now I can't do it without making the noise. Giddy up, little cowboy! Little cowboy over there! I can't really do it so good. Are y'all gonna be watching any movies over the hall? <laughs> What what are we Fortune. going directly into small talk? Yeah, what we just <laughs> anyone yes. gonna watch? <laughs> what are you gonna be doing? You just agreed that while your wife's away, we're hooking up, and then now you're going into what movies are you gonna watch? <laughs> so anyone gonna watch to any movies? <laughs> so what kind of music are you into? <laughs> 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, sure. Um, oh, I that bet. all looks like Christmas, and so does that one. Yeah. Should we end there? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I didn't give a good answer for the present. <laughs> well, you Is did. that why you started wandering <laughs> off into <laughs> small talk? I want to so, pee myself. I anybody going to watch my any suit. movies? <laughs> I think Jackson went somewhere for Christmas. That was a nice present. You think you did? I think so. <laughs> I can't keep up. <laughs> uh, I will say this about gifts. Yeah. Even though I am, I call myself not a great gift giver, I don't like being beholden to the day. Yeah, you're just generous I, I'm like, round. Yeah, like if, if I know at some point... Someone that I know needs a thing. I don't want to wait till like the birthday or the Christmas. Yeah. I'm mm-hmm. like, here you go. Right. But then don't be mad at me if I don't get you something on your birthday. Okay. You know I mean? And you know what? I'm going to take this as you'd like a cake any old day. Yeah. Any yeah. day. Does not need to be on my birthday. Okay. So Christmas? Christmas? It can whenever. Okay, right, let's should calm I get down? You but <laughs> like, but like, I like I'll give my parents random things. But like, mm-hmm. I'm but then I'll forget to write like like send a card. Yeah. But I yeah. just bought them a washing machine or something. You right. know what I mean? And you don't need to put a card on the washing no, machine. No, but like at Christmas, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. I'll I see call them and stuff, and I haven't like sent a card. Yeah. You know, but I just like fixed their roof three weeks ago. Yeah, that's sort of how, good. I, how I am. All by yeah. yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you were up a ladder were hanging on the roof <laughs> <laughs> with all your podcast yeah, cash. That's so right. should I get you guys something for Christmas or no? Let's decide now if we are or we're not. I don't think so. I think a present is good when it really strikes you yeah. as yeah. something that person wants yeah. and not just like, oh, I got to mm-hmm. fill this obligation yeah. to get someone something. And otherwise, I do think... You should give your money to some good stuff. Yeah, that's true. To some good. Oh, there's yeah. some good. I did. And year round. Yeah. Not yeah, yeah, just. Yeah. Oh, I do it before taxes are due. I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> I got a good wedding present for someone recently yeah. that I'm pretty proud of. That should I say that for? Well, yeah, because this will come out after I give it to her. I got it for Abby Jacobson yeah. and her wife Jody because I ne- I never get to go to a fancy wedding and uh, I was feeling the pressure. And they have a movie that they love, and they did like a screening of it. Uh-huh. I can't remember the name of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, <laughs> it's a a but woman, you got a present a, that an unmarried it, woman. Okay, from the seventies, a Jill Clayburn. I don't think I've seen. Don't this. look at me. <laughs> <Again>. <laughs> <laughs> you know, dig. Yeah, I old Jill <laughs> Clayburn. Love the woman. <laughs> <laughs> I think I did a good thing where, like, in the final scene, it, there's um, an abstract artist in it. Yeah. And I was kept thinking, oh, the actor is not doing this art because it's amazing. Oh. And then in the final scene, it's like a significant piece of art. And I so I Googled, I found out the real artist who was doing that art. Mm. And then I bought like from the 70s, mm. like a print of a um, deep dive. I think it's good. But I haven't given it That's yet. That's a That's good present. That's a very thoughtful present. present. I'm, yeah. nervous. I'm sweating saying it, it because it's, what if they don't like the art? Uh, there, that you could have really messed, messed up because up. art you is subjective. Really it's messed really up. subjective. Art's very subjective, mm-hmm. but it's a thoughtful gift, even if they don't like yeah, it. Right? You know yeah, right. Mean? Yeah, you can tell. I they're like May it. did a nice thing. Also, this is going in the gar- the garage, in yeah, the garden, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or, 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 in this the is garbage. going in the garden, the garage or the garbage, the garbage, garage or the garbage. <laughs> You know, oh British God. people say garage. <laughs> they do. Yeah, garage. Yeah, did yeah. Not know that. Weird. You didn't. No. Even listening to Elton John, all these Does years, and all those songs about yeah. garage. I'm trying yeah. to learn more about the UK because I'm gonna be doing a show in London. The have end you of never January. been? What? No, I've been, mm. but I forgot. It's I'm sure May's full of facts. I got some facts. Yeah. I'll be there at the end of January. What venue? Uh, I don't know. Union mm-hmm. Hall. Is that yeah 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 you? yeah very cool. maybe that yeah we're going to London and Amsterdam that's awesome so yeah great buddy <laughs> should we see what Reese said yeah let's see so the very best gift I ever received was actually a very coveted toy of the 1980s which was the Teddy Ruxpin <gasps> yes and I remember my dad and my brother going to the toy store and coming home and giving it to me on Christmas Eve and the joy that it filled me with. I had wanted this toy so badly. The commercials were so appealing (laughs) and you could put little cassette tapes in his back and he would tell stories. But I immediately (laughs) 
opened up Teddy Ruxpin and put my Paula Abdul cassette tape in his back yes. and had him sing Opposites Attract, which was my <laughs> favorite song at the time. And it was just completely Christmas joy, childhood Christmas joy that I will never forget. Yes. I love that. that. I had one of those. So did I. I had a Teddy Ruxpin. Yeah. I did not. Do you know what, te- what I, it is? I can gather it's a bear that sings. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's a, <laughs> it, had yeah. A, it had a cassette <laughs> thing in its belly, yeah. right? Yeah, and you could put different things yeah. in it. <laughs> I, I, that made me so think. you could just put like Van Halen in there. I, I guess. I so. guess I don't remember the. I remember mine saying like I'm Teddy. Yeah, Ruskin. I'm Teddy Russ. Yeah, 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 but yeah. if if uh, Reese is putting Paula Abdul yeah, in there, I, I feel like I could put Metallica. Van Halen. I think so. yeah, Metallica. Yeah, it's been Black a while, but I ha- yeah, they were like all the rage. Willie Nelson. Yeah. Put in the redheaded stranger. <laughs> the, um, Bring that around. The uh, it made me think of. I hope this is worth telling and funny. It's a bit of a tangent, but really quick that. I, that she wanted this toy and got it. I once saw a one woman show. <laughs> I was maybe, t- I, I'm going to say it, whatever. I was like 20 and the show was called the vagina monologue. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the show was called, she never bought me an easy bake oven. Okay. So that's okay. the title. So the, the show starts, it's a 90 minute show. Minute one. She's like Christmas morning. Like, and, the whole show is building up to the fact that her mom didn't get her. The, but the tight, that's the title. Yeah, So, you know, it's you coming. know, it. and the whole show was like, I come downstairs and I see a present wrapped. Oh my God, it must be the easy bake oven. And it was like, okay, but we know it's not <laughs> going to be. Wait, whose show is this? I, I don't, I don't remember her name even. Oh. This is in Toronto at this little theater and I went we to see really it. We could really be promoting her. She never bought me an easy bake <laughs> oven, but still doing it the was show. wild because you knew <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. And then what happens? She never got so it's it. It's not the easy bake oven. It's something else. And she's mad about it or something. I, and, and we're all like, but it's yeah. part of her art now. Yeah. Okay. But it, what, it wasn't a good show? No. <laughs> Wait, Tig, are you? It's, I feel like you would thought it that was good. I was hoping Some it would be a it. twist. Like, of course, it's in the title. It, oh it, yeah oh, no but no then that, there was there's no like twist. some brilliant twist that would have been i would great. not have named it that probably that was the mistake what would you she have made named it? like the toy that i oh that's good the, the toy, toy. <laughs> <laughs> that's a <laughs> richard about, pryor movie how about toy story <laughs> richard pryor toy, toy story has that been taken <laughs> <laughs> that is by the way such a brilliant idea for a movie what toys that talk come to life that's right yeah. <laughs> just making sure Toy Story that's what it's about yeah, yeah. and it's a great movie it's oh it's so they good, should yeah. do like three of them <laughs> uh, how many are there I don't know three. I just saw one like 25 years well, ago well actually someone on the handsome social someone handsome made that handsome pod handsome pod made a art of me as Woody as a little cowboy that was cute it was yeah. really good I liked that a lot yeah, yeah. we have some good art circling really good. around yeah 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 Thanks for those. Well, well I'm excited <laughs> for the holidays. So am I. Have you watched any movies? <laughs> I'll, I'll probably watch Sweet Home Alabama. Okay. Because of Reese? Yeah, and I love that movie. Okay. Yeah. Or Legally Born. Wait, is she from Alabama? No. No, she's, she's, from, she's from Tennessee. Tennessee. Oh, but she was in Sweet Home Alabama. Okay. All right. I'm in all there, over the place. She plays a girl from Alabama. Okay. Well, because she's watch, an actress. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. I might watch Big Little Lies again. I, I like a bunch of smoldering these amazing actresses give, all bringing their A game what a show I like season 2 where what Meryl, a show what, what a, a show, show. What what a show. <laughs> yeah. I like season 2 where Meryl Streep has those big fake teeth oh <laughs> <laughs> and she screams have we talked about that I think so <laughs> No one's going to no push back. Gonna, yeah. <laughs> Everyone's Tom like, all right, you're going to come in with some fake teeth, <laughs> Meryl? Yeah, yeah. Come on in. <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> <coughs> I'll tell you this. Yeah? I appreciate you guys. I appreciate um, you guys. Tell you what, I appreciate you both so much. If I could ask Santa to bring me one thing, <laughs> well, it would be a podcast with you two. You got you it. You already have that. Oh, yeah. well, then I don't need Santa. <laughs> Wait, you mean a podcast with just us? Two? No, well, I'll, I mean, I'd like yeah. to be I mean, a podcast with you guys. Well, 
Surprise! Yes! <laughs> We've been doing it for three months. We yeah? have? <laughs> right under your nose. Where am I? <laughs> In my office recording a podcast. I'll be at church singing mm. lots of hymns. Hallelujah! I, hallelujah! Hallelujah! Is that Christmas? Oh, and uh, I, Joy to the world. Oh, oh, there we are. I also just want to flag because maybe we can isolate it in the video or something that earlier on I tried to do a callback to Married Do You Know. Yes. And mm. and it just I did it. It bombed. You guys were talking about what something. What was else. it? I just slipped it in and then you can probably see on my face the shame. And I just want to <laughs> acknowledge that I know that happened. I know it did, I and know we it will bombed. Find and it and isolate it. Yeah, I want to oh. find it and isolate it. And we'll <laughs> and we'll have you go. Yeah, I, I really, I think I did that. I think I went, my eyes kind of glazed over and I just looked. I've done <laughs> it again. Ta- it's because Tig and I have big mouths and we were just talking about something. No, it's because mm-hmm. it was really not the, I think it was even like quite a poignant moment. You know what we I have to say? Two big old dykes from the woods. <laughs> <laughs> big old dirty dykes from the backwoods. Um, well, I have to say one of the Christmas songs I do love, which I don't think it really uh gets uh played or sung in church is so this is christmas oh yeah i love so that this is christmas yeah that's all yeah. john lennon he sounds like kind of bored like he oh god i have to sing this again. yeah so this is christmas like yeah yeah uh i wish i could remember um have him oh merry little have, little have yourself one? a merry little christmas you like that one I love it, and I especially love it with oh, Chrissy Hines singing it. Okay. Oh. I like uh, the... I love it. Keep going. From now on, our troubles will be out of sight. <laughs> yeah. so Thank you. We have your headshot and resume. <laughs> what about the uh, David Bowie, Bing Crosby? Oh, yes. yes. Right Little when drummer goes, boy. Rum, pa, pum. That rum, Rumpel Stiltskin should bum. cover that. How is this but word Rumpel coming up again? Ro- or Teddy Rumpelstiltskin. <laughs> Teddy Rumpelstiltskin. Teddy Rumpelstiltskin. Rumpel 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 now I can't say it. Teddy Rumpelstiltskins. <laughs> Well, 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 oh, well. Teddy Rumpskins. <laughs> <laughs> what a podcast. Oh, what a podcast. We are always going off the rails. Yeah. That is my point. son Max's favorite Christmas song. Oh, it's an amazing song. Yeah. Um, I want to thank everyone who's listened to Handsome this year. Yes. Heck yeah. Uh, thanks for listening. Share it with your pals. Yes, mm-hmm. share uh, it with your pals. Have listening parties. And we'll see you. Review it. Five stars, five baby. Stars or five four. Stars. I always say it. No, no four. four is still no, good. No, we don't cut want that, that out. Cut that out. <laughs> I, if if I, we want to stay on the air, we need five <laughs> stars. We need you to subscribe. We need you to send it to your friends. That's, That's right. true. Yeah, yeah. And have yourself oh, a merry little Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> we all get Oh. <laughs> And um, um, as anything all, else, oh, get, yep. get you some merch. Get you some merch. Handsomepod.com. Yep. Yeah. We have and, a YouTube um, channel. Check out the YouTube channel. YouTube channel. YouTube.com slash at handsomepod. That's yeah. us. And uh, join us when we are back in the new year. That's right. And I also want to make sure that you sign up for my email list because you're going to get all the information first. That's right. I'll for s- everyone, even on social media, you're going to get it first on my email list. Go to tignotaro.com. Yep, yep. Uh, May, where are you? I just want to say, I think from having half a whiskey, this ear has gone red. Am I right? Yeah, it's a little pink. Mm. So we can point that out. We can it's, zoom in, I'm sure, pink. isolate the ear. Why does it do I that? I feel like your history with alcohol and drugs. Why is my, Why would what? your ear go pink? From Maybe my ears were always pink in those years. Maybe your know. ears finally sobered up yeah, all, these right, years, yeah. all these years or later. Or someone's yeah. talking about you. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. The guy you owe Fortune 800 fact. <laughs> When your ears are red, isn't someone talking about you? I heard when your nose is itchy, it means be careful. Someone's looking for a fight. Oh. Okay. Well, so. we already did a woo-woo episode. Yeah, that's true. Um, I got nothing to promote, really. January 16th, I'm at Largo in Los Angeles with actually a very exciting surprise guest. Ooh, Who I is can't it? wait. Yeah, tell us. I'll well, say no, after. You don't, you is don't it want- me? <laughs> it's huge. It might be T. <laughs> yeah, no, I'll tell you after. Uh, I'm on the road right after the new year. I'll be in uh, Eugene, Oregon, and Vancouver. Then I'm going to be in uh, Burlington, <laughs> Vermont, 
And then I'm going to be in Washington, D.C. and Red Bank, New Jersey, <laughs> London and Amsterdam, Denver, Colorado, Madison and Milwaukee, <laughs> Wisconsin. There's going to be a lot of shows y'all coming up. What a pretty little lady. Go to porchleaf.com. And you were twiddling your thumbs while you did I that. Oh, really? Because <laughs> my jacket's tight. After the holidays, I really got to get on my health journey. <laughs> That's for another Welcome episode. Welcome to Fortune Feimster's Health, health Journey. journey. <laughs> it's slow. Starring Fortune, Fortune Feimster. And mm-hmm. go to my website to find my shows, but I'm typically around uh, Los Angeles at Largo or Dynasty Typewriter, and uh, yeah, I'll see you out there. And here on the Handsome Pod. Until and then. And until then, keep, keep it, it handsome! handsome.